All right, guys, we need to talk about the blood sugar and the ketone numbers right now because you guys are confused. Roll it. Yes, we made it. So I had to go over time because I had an interview right before this. It was only supposed to be a 15 minute interview, but let's keep it straight. People can't talk to me for 15 minutes. It always is going over. So sorry for the lateness of the live stream. But today I really wanted to talk about how to use the glucometer and the blood sugar because a lot of you guys seem to be very confused about this. Now the glucometer is a very useful tool to avoid problems like thyroid, adrenal, you know, chronic fatigue, adrenal issues. That's what's really, really good. Hey everybody. Um, this is the reason why I'm doing this, these lives is to teach people how to do keto the right way. So you don't have to hear other people go like, oh, I don't believe you can do keto for a very long time because it's dangerous because you know, your systems, your endocrine system is affected. Absolute nonsense because these people don't know how to do it the right way. So uh, let's talk about the glucometer. And um, um, before I start going into the slides, there are different kinds of glucometers. Now I have two different kinds here and uh, one is called Precision Extra. So this is the, so people are like, first of all, let's talk about what, before I go into the blood values and what to look for, and hey, everybody coming into the chat. Um, you finally got your notifications, notifications, Claudia. That's awesome. So the first one is uh, by a company. It's a parent company called Abbott. They make Precision Extra and Freestyle. So here, if you guys, I don't know if you can see that, but I'll, we'll have it in another shot. So this would be, it's smaller. This is a Precision Extra dual glucometer that measures ketones and glucose. And then also we have, um, at some point we'll have to blow that up so they can actually read it. Um, the other one is, uh, look how organized we are, um, a Keto Mojo. So this is a Keto Mojo right here. And that's that Keto Mojo system. And then here we actually have what it looks like in my hand, right? Excuse the ring light. So these are the two. Now Mojo, let's keep it real. The Mojo, it's cheaper. The ketone strips are cheaper, which the ketone ones get you, really get you with a precision extra. Now the glucose strips on both are pretty cheap. Um, so can we keep it on one slide? Yeah. I've put it on precision extra. You were talking about yeah, precision extra. Yeah, but we had extra. it on like four slides before that. Same. Um, so, um, and this is the Greek guy. You want to say hello, Greek guy? He's like, no. Hello. <laughs> so he's, uh, we're, we're, he's, he's, we, we did an interview before. So jumping from that to this is kind of hard. So I do appreciate him trying uh, to get it all in a short time. So these are the two most important, uh, not important. These are the most common ones. So this one here, darn it, there. It's opposite arm. That's why I get confused on the screen. But this one right there is a precision extra. So that's what that looks like. Now the pen is for the, uh, I have it here. So you see what there in that graphic right there? That's the pen. This is it here. It's the same pen. Right here in the white middle part is where you push it. So you put the lancet in, which is the needle. And it works just like a pen. It's like you, it goes in. And then you get a little strip of paper that's a strip that can measure either glucose or ketones. Now this is, um, both work the same way with using strips to feed to, to register the numbers. And then you would just 
take a, the, the inside of your finger and you push on it, right? Oops, wrong direction. He's got his right there. So that's for the mojo. You want to take you this one so you can see it better? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you're arming it. You put your finger. Actually, you use the sides of your finger. You, you close use... very tightly your eyes. Let me teach him. You do the side of the finger because you use the tops of your finger <laughs> uh, a lot. So it gets irritated and infected. So that's why you do the side. Go ahead. So you do it like this. Uh, ow! And you have a little bit of blood do over there. Do you have a strip? Are you going to test right now? Mm, yeah, I only have glucose you know, strips. That lan lancet? I yep. took your blood sugar. So, live on camera, he's gonna yeah. check. Greek guy's gonna check. So this is the the thingy that you have to put your blood in. Puff. The mojo is on. Hopefully. Oh. I've put it the other way around. Jesus, my bad. And we're live. And we're live. And I'm bleeding over here. What the hell? <laughs> I hope nobody has, uh, uh, that everybody can see blood. I know, right? So, yeah, we are ready right now. And we let it suck up blood, hopefully. Eh. We are live. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, did it. So, right now. I can't see it. What's the blood sugar? So you can just say what it is. Let me. No, it's not sure. Still, no. So, 84. So, he's not ketotic. Let's see if we can see with this camera. Yep. You can kind of see. If you go back a little bit, back, back, back. There, 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 there. Yeah. They can see. see it there. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. he has an 84, mm -hmm. which is okay. But we don't know his ketone number. So if, let's say if his blood sugar is 84, but his ketones are 0 0.5, that would not be ketotic. Uh, in the morning was 1.5. Okay. And uh, always when I'm fasting, uh, uh, in the morning, like uh, I'm uh, 1.5, yeah, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 
So it's got to be between a 70 and an 80. That's for beginners. And I wrote, can we turn down the air conditioning? Good Lord, it's just pounding on me with this sports bra. Thank you. And uh, so it's 70 to 80 for people who start off. This is all for, also for people who tried keto a long time ago and then they're restarting. You're pretty much a newbie again. So you want to have between 70 and 80 as a tight range. Now, a sweet spot for that would be around a 77. That would be really perfect. Now, the ketones need to be between a, so that's your fasted. That's when you wake up in the morning before you pee or drink water or anything. Because when you lie down and do nothing, that's a more objective number. Now, the uh, people who are advanced, it says here 60, here it says, whoa. There, it says 69 to 83 for advanced, and it's a wider range because people have been doing keto for a while. They have more metabolic flexibility. Their blood sugars can get a little higher, and their ketones can get a little lower without being hypoglycemic, and the, the blood sugar can get a little higher, and the body will clear it out and still use the ketones. So you're not going to get this graph on any other channel period, because nobody does this research except for me. I don't know why they don't, but it's so useful. Now let's see here. I wrote uh, ketone testing for beginners and advanced have the same ketone range. Yeah. So people who are ketotic, there's not a, a more, there's a tighter range in, in terms of flexibility with glucose. There's a lot more flexibility. And I'm going to go a little bit more into the numbers, these numbers throughout the day. But right now, I just want to explain glucose and ketones. Now, ketones. What's up, Deborah? Um, so fasted. So you're fasted, which is with your ketones, you can only test them in the morning. That's super objective because you literally are, it's ketones made from the body fat. Oh, thank you, body format. Thank you so much for the 20. Wow. I feel special. Thank you so much. And body, uh, is it format says, uh, for more keto mojo ketone strips, love my meter. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. So, um, uh, thank you so much body format for, for, uh, donating to the super chat. I forgot that it's on, but I think people are finally getting their notifications that I'm going live now. Um, so when it comes to the ketone testing, it's between a 1.8 and a 3.0, and that's for everyone. It doesn't matter if you have metabolic inflexibility or if you're more flexible, right? If you're more flexible. <laughs> now, uh, the reason why that is, is because we're testing the objective number when you wake up. It's going to be ketones from your body fat. When you test your ketones later in a day, that's what you ate. So a lot of you guys are cons consumed by weight loss. So if you test later, you're just, you're just seeing ketones from what you ate. It's a little useless, but useful, but more useless. There is some usefulness to it though. And Deborah's reminding you over here where well, you guys can't see it. Sorry. And she's reminding it's the chat. She's saying uh, to book a consultation, go to stephanieperson.com. Cause I always forget to say that this is what I do. So you want to blow that up so people can see that those ugly fonts and black around the letters. And I'm doing it just to annoy him because he <laughs> hates when I criticize. <laughs> Thank you. And there we go. Right there. There is my Instagram, actually, and my Facebook, which is Stephanie Business. There, what? StephaniePerson.com. Okay. So there it is as well. I'll go more into that. Okay, let's get back to the graphic because the, the people on the replay are going to be like, oh my God, you're selling cars now. So, <laughs> Wait, you're selling cars? Yeah. I want one. <laughs> I know, right? I want one. You get a car. You get a car. Okay, so it's between a 1.8 and a 3.0. Now, if like the Greek guy said his ketones were around 1.5, is that right? Want to get on the screen for a sec? Yep. My ketones were under the... Uh, at the worst, 1.1 once, uh, normally 1.67, 1 1.8, 1 uh, at the best 3, 3.3. 3. That was my numbers ever throughout this month that I tested every day in the morning without anything eating or drinking. Okay, my hair's going gray. Let's shorten it. 
All right, here we go. <laughs> you ask me. I know. Hey, Chantal. Nice to see you. Um, okay, so essentially it's between a 1.8 and a 3.0. It's not bad because he's kind of new to this whole thing. Like he tried it before, but I'm not counting that first time he tried keto. Um, he produces ketones okay. I know his fats aren't high enough. Let's keep it real. I'm going to go and bug him after this live stream and he'll get pissed at me for bugging him because he's a man and men hate, hate when women nag on them. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it up to your wife. How's that? I know. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I know. Okay, so 1.8 between uh, 1.8 and 3.0. That means like, hey, I'm producing ketones, right? It's a sweet spot. And uh, we really don't want to go higher than a 3.0 because if your ketones keep rising, like you're filling a bath with water too high, you're no longer using those ketones. There's a zone, there's a little tight zone in, right in here. That's where you use the ketones when we're here, we're not. And so when the ketones keep rising, it means the cells aren't <laughs> sucking them up. And Stephanie likes to take complicated science and make it easier to understand. So you're not utilizing those ketones when they rise too high and when they're too low, you're not making enough typically because you either have leaky gut, gallbladder problems, or you're just simply not eating enough fat or the right types of fat. So sweet pot, sweet spot, did I say sweet pot? Sweet spot is between a 1.8 and a 3.0. Can we keep up with the comments too? Are we already at the bottom? Yeah, we are. Ketone numbers, the better. Not the higher, the cap, there's a cap. Ketones can't go higher than that 3.0. If you're a 3.1 or 3.2, I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to get frustrated. But if you keep going to 3.5 and 4, you're not using them. So who cares? You might use a little bit, but you're not really using them. And that's when you can still feel tired in the afternoon. Um, now, let's keep going. Let's see here. So, okay, when to test the ketones. That's what this one says right there. It's all blurry. Um... You test your ketones only in the morning. Like I said, if you're testing them later in the day, that's what you ate. And it's really C, and you have to eat a lot of fat. Here's the thing, people keep thinking that you can do a ketogenic protocol on lower fat. That's just starvation, because your carbs are low, your fats are low, and it, it messes your endocrine system, your hormones, your testosterone, your estrogen, thyroid, adrenals. And, but I'm not gonna lose weight if I eat a lot of fat. Why do people keep asking that? It's a high fat diet, 80%. You have to learn, your body has to learn how to make ketones. Once it learns how to make ketones and regulates the insulin, your estrogen dominance will go down and progesterone will go up and your testosterone will go up and you'll be here in the middle with your sex hormones. The thyroid will start making T3 in the right amounts and the weight will come off. You won't be leptin resistant. So yes, you have to eat a lot of fat, get over it. You can drop, you can gain it, you can lose it. Now, not everybody gains weight when they first try keto because right away the insulin's like, oh, thank you. And if they do carnivore, it might take down their histamine or issues with swelling and, flat, and, and their um, lymphatic system. And then immediately their insulin drops and sometimes it spikes. It just depends because keto is 50-50. You either do it, not either. It's 50-50-50. It's diet and it's lifestyle. And they're 50-50. It's not just the macros. And people keep not understanding that. Now, let me see. Let's see, testing for allergies. So it says test blood sugar. Ten, now, this is an instruction if I stand to the side. I'm sure you guys can't read that because um, we're still trying to figure out how to do this right, the Greek guy. That's why I sent you a screenshot it's and calling... I sent you the text. Yes, and that's why we have the phones that with the two pictures, with, with two fingers, we can magnify the picture. Yeah, yeah it gets blurry though. Mm -hmm. I sent you the same thing in text body form too, because I'm very, very accurate. He's like, shut up, I keep talking. <laughs> I'm aware of the time. He's got to do another uh, live stream after this. Okay. So post-workout, so okay, hypoglycemia, testing for allergies. Testing out for allergies means 10 minutes before and then every 30 minutes. If you really want to be accurate, it's 10 minutes before and then every 30 minutes after up to two hours. You want to see that what the algorithm of your blood sugar, it's always going to spike after 30 minutes. After an hour, it might peak 
and to the second hour, it should drop to your fasted number. If your blood sugar just keeps doing this, you're sensitive to that food. Now, this is not a hardcore ironclad science, but with my research, I notice when people have an inflammatory reaction to a food that they're allergic to or sensitive to, inflammation equals cortisol equals high blood sugar. Uh, so um, 10 minutes before is to give you an objective number, and then you keep testing until uh, it, it, it has to drop back down to that. After two hours, it should drop back down to that 10 minute before you eat the food. So you could test avocados, high histamine, spinach, don't eat spinach, oxalates, eggs, egg whites, butter. These are all high histamine foods for people doing keto omnivore, because this is for carnivore and omnivore. It could be after cinnamon or lemon. These are all, I cannot talk. I'm trying to rush because I know he's got to work after this. I got like 30 more minutes. Um, hypoglycemia is another way. Oh, thank you so much. Does it say? Fifteen dollar, uh, fifteen carrots Socorro for thunder. Feliciano, thank you. Aww. Oh, that's that. That's very sweet. <laughs> like my body just went. Oh my god, <laughs> it's for my horse, you guys. It's really expensive to buy a horse, and I bought him to save him. So I'm gonna start a Patreon to help support. It's not gonna be for me. It's literally to save this horse. So thank you so much, Socorro Feliciano. I really appreciate that. It really touched me that you did that. Deborah's reminding you that I have a keto course page where I cover keto, carnivore, omnivore, and low carb, high fat. So people on the replay, chill out. It's uh, stephanieperson.com to sign up for that. It's just $15 month to month. So you could do one or many. It's up to you, but it's totally worth it. Work my ass off on it. Now, hypoglycemia, you could test if your blood sugar is getting under a 69. You could be hypoglycemic. Now, some people can have their blood sugar in the 50s and be full on ketotic and do great. But... With my research of thousands of people doing consultations, you're not great. I mean, once the blood sugar starts getting towards the seven, early 70s, that's hypoglycemia. Not in everyone, but most people have, remember, metabolic inflexibility. They're tight. They're not flexible. So once it starts getting too low, that's typically hypoglycemia. So you might want to test your blood sugar in the afternoon. You might want to uh, test also, I'll check, I'll show you in the notes below um, to see how high and how low your blood sugar drops. Now, post-workout is also a really great time to test your blood sugar because um, if you are having an adrenal cortisol freak out, you know, which some of you guys do, your blood sugar will spike. If you are healthy, healthy adrenals, thyroid, um, your blood sugar should drop. It should drop to either your fasted number or if you do a pre-workout blood sugar check, it should drop to that pre-workout number. Your body should be able to clear out glucose without a problem if you're super healthy. It should drop, not spike. And that's between 20 to 30 minutes post-workout when you're not, when the blood, blood pressure's down and you're chilling. Now, uh, let's keep testing in the middle of the night. So sometimes I like for people to test in the middle of the night because people who wake up all the time, they tend to wake up because the body's like, Warning, warning, blood sugar too low. And when the blood sugar goes too low, glucagon shoots it up and wakes you up so you don't go into a coma. So that's a good time to test to see like, what is my blood sugar like? Is it skyrocket really, really high or is it really low? Um, is that it? Yep. Okay, let's get to the graphics. I went really fast because he's got to do another live stream uh, with other people having nothing to do with keto after this because I am at his studio job. Um, so you want me to make them smaller? You, you can actually remove it. Let's get to the slides so I can just kind of talk about the glucometer again. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. One second. Let me see. I'm taking over 200 grams of fat from butter a day. Um, drop protein intake to 100. Okay, taking 100. It's a little too high. on Andrea, you're a woman. No, 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 no. Protein is too high. By 100 grams, I started having ketones around 2.5, glucose around 70. But after 10 or 15 days, the glucose went back to, yeah, because you're eating too much protein. If you're, and Andrea, drop your, your protein down to 50 and eat 220 and 30 grams of fat. And your, your glucose should drop if you're sleeping, if you're breathing, and if you're getting your stress down. Um... 
Your phone? Yeah, okay, so here's the mojo again, and we have the other slides. So as you can see, no, yeah. see the blood pricking? Mm -hmm. That's essentially what uh, the Greek guy did on camera. So this is so you could see it without freaking it out, freaking out to see all the blood on his finger. These uh, lancet needles, they're very tiny. When I was growing up in the 70s, they were really thick. So people who were diabetic used to always complain that it hurt. Now, and you're really not supposed to test on your fingertips because you're touching things. No, that's mine for his some phone reason. Because he doesn't know how to put his phone on silent. I keep telling but him. it is on silent. It's buzzing. Yeah. It's not, that's not silent. So, uh, <laughs> I'm his second wife. Okay. Yeah. I um, know. so this, the, it's like tiny, like sometimes people have to squeeze to even get the blood out. I don't know if you need the needles. That's the is, lancet. You peel yeah. off the top and it's a fresh needle. You want to waste one? <laughs> okay. For the sake of science, I can do anything. Even though you got on my case, the time's ticking. Sure. So. Okay. Oh yeah. See that? Oops. See how tiny that is? Oops, where's my finger? That is tiny. You barely feel it. Have somebody else do it for those who are afraid. Awesome things. You can even do it like this. Oh, you yeah, do. <laughs> Andrea. Andrea. Andra. How do you say your name? Shoot. Sorry. Italiano. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. cool. Um, hi, Monica. Now, um, type 2 diabetic, the only way I can get those low numbers was from doing mostly liquid. What's PS? PSMF? What is that? with the uh, bare minimum bare minimum protein you want to google what that is uh every uh, time i brought up fat grams i would stop losing oh that's because your blood sugar is too high you don't you can't lose weight if your blood sugar is too high it's just impossible blood sugar high insulin high insulin stores fat so that's the reason why we want to get it to that sweet spot um let's see here can you move it away from the comments one second. Your search, he's putting up a search bar. Liquid, so he's searching. Yeah, liquid PSMF. PSMF. Okay, and then move that. Thank you. He did, did this. So the protein sparring modifying sparring. fast. Thank liquid. you again for yeah. the for the fourteen ninety nine. What is it? Uh, it's liquid protein diet for. Ew. What did she write again? When I, when my blood sugar, when I drank protein, what was it good then? So no, you guys, I know a lot of stuff. I don't know everything. I didn't uh, know what PM, no, PM, PM, was doing PSMF a mostly was. liquid PSMF with bare minimum protein. Protein sparring modified oh, oh, because, fast blood. Oh, because you were starving. If you, you barely drink any protein and your fats aren't high enough, you're and your blood sugar is high, and that's the this here's the thing, you guys. You cannot lose weight on a ketogenic diet if your blood sugar is high and you're insulin resistant. Go to get your insulin checked, your A1C, intensive daily, daily blood sugar. That's the reason why we're talking about this whole thing. You're not going to lose weight if your insulin, a type two diabetic or type one, has either not producing insulin or insulin resistant. Like done. So that is the reason why it's important to get that blood sugar down into a sweet spot so your insulin doesn't spike. If the insulin's not spiking. The abs come through because y'all know I'm 52 going on 53. What? That's what's up. Been working on them abs, the uh, muscles. Uh, so it's, so I eat a lot of fat. And the reason why I don't gain uh, the visceral fat or gain fat, I mean, there is fat there. But the reason why I don't gain more fat is because my insulin's very sensitive. So when I eat a lot of fat, my body just uses it as ketones and for skin and structure and cells and brain. It doesn't store it because there's no insulin to store it. So that's the reason why we got to get that blood sugar because your body can make blood sugar in diabetic high numbers just from eating your own bicep. It, you just eat your own muscle. It's called gluconeogenesis. Okay, what is the ideal number of glucose level when we uh, level we should be at to be burning fat after a meal? So I put that there. I said it's between 60. It's If you're highly adapted, it's 69 to around 82. But if you're just starting and you're you're, you've got thyroid, you've got, you can't sleep well, you're stressed all the time, you got adrenal problems, and then the sweet spot's going to be more tight, which is between 80 or 70 to 80, but really it's around 77. And it's in the, for people watching the replay, I already put it there. Uh, we lose fat once we are healthy. Yes, Diane is very true. It's easy to lose weight. That's not the problem. It's the endocrine system, your hormonal system being jacked up like estrogen dominance 
a lot of women are estrogen dominant and then those fat cells become inefficient and lazy. They don't even want. See, here's the thing, you guys, I'm going to do a whole thing on, uh, on, uh, sex hormones next week. And I'll go more into what happens when the fat cells start making estrogen, estrone. That's the problem right there. Fat cells making estrogen, thyroid, too much cortisol, high blood sugar, not going to lose weight, not going to happen on keto period. But if you can get those system balanced by eating the right ketogenic protocol, the right amount of foods, chewing your food slowly, going to bed early, you know, don't eat stuff that'll block, you know, if you're having a thyroid, don't eat a bunch of raw salad stuff with oxalates and, you know, goitrogens that'll mess up your thyroid. You see, what's the sweet spot? Monica, I said it. It's for glucose, it's a 77 straight up. That's the real sweet tightening of the glucose. Ketones, it's between a, a 1.8 and a 3.0. Uh, fat, fat, fat cells like to stay fat. Yes, they do. Because you're born with a fine out of, amount. You go into the body factory and you're making more fat cells to store more fat. And when you're making more fat cells, you're making more estrogen. The estrogen may, is higher ability to store more fat. You can get some water too? Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, he's leaving the room. Now I can talk crap, crap about him. <laughs> uh, Deborah's saying is that you'll love my like, consultations. Yeah, I like them. I'm not as, I'm spastic in the live streams, especially today, because he's got to go somewhere in like 25 minutes. Um, how do you test insulin? Got to beg the docs. Yes. Don't beg them. Just say, you know, I feel insulin resistant. I feel sick. I feel tired. You know, I don't feel well. Can you have my insulin? Because don't don't tell them the truth. Though. They'll never order the test. It's just like that. Uh, yes, Deborah, money too tight now. Uh, yes, sorry, I got it. Bad circle. So the, the Greek guy is gone for the minute. Thanks, Steph. Gotta have to consult, consult soon. Yes, it's worth it. And I've got, you know, um, like I've got one hour and 30 minute consultations for those. So it's different prices uh, for those who can't afford or I'll have a follow up consultation package. So I've kind of diversified a little bit. My calendar is open right now. It's full booked. It's open. So if you guys are thinking about trying to do this the right way, I would consider a consultation because I get so many people asking questions. I'm like, I can't answer it unless I'm actually talking to you. Thank you. Paragolo. <laughs> I'm ready for tomorrow. I can't wait to wait. I'm ready. Wait, I'm ready to forget this scale and get healthy for the first. So I'm wait. Ryan says, can't wait until tomorrow. I'm ready to forget the scale and just get healthy. First time so done. Yes. That's what it's about. It's a whole lifestyle change. Okay, um, let me see here. How different do you feel now that you added avocado? Um, let me put this down over here. The heart palp potential has gone down. So without enough potassium, right? Because otherwise you have to have constantly, either you take potassium citrate which I took it and it kind of irritates my stomach a little bit. So I could either take be full carnivore and take potassium citrate and then be like, eh. or I can go off and take potassium from avocados, which I don't react to. So the heart palps are not there. Remember the problem I have from being ketotic for 12 years is that electrolyte issue. Yes. Yeah, so you got to be on the magnet. I'm on, Where's my magnesium? Look, look, look what I came, brought to the studio. I'm on my magnesium. Okay. Steph, don't play. I bet you the Greek guy thought I was like putting on lotion or something, but that's, that's magnesium. I'm not well, kidding. Well, actually I was thinking that it was something to show your abs better. Oh, no. If that's not possible, cold. of course, because that's the best. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yes, this is, I stay on my, I'm like that. There's nothing else that I need to worry about. I don't have to worry about thyroid. I don't have to worry about my sex hormones. Clearly what? I don't have to worry about that. Um, 
I don't have to worry about any health issues doing keto for the long term because whatever anybody says, I just watched the interview with Terry Walls and and um, and Paul Saladino, and she's like, I just think that keto over the time is bad for your hormonal system. Like, yeah, people do it wrong. That's why people are showing problems. That's why I bring this magnesium spray to stay on my friggin magnesium. Do you want to show that in your camera up close? Because I don't think so. This one will show you that. Well. Everybody's showing, but anyway. Well, they're always like, eh, screenshot it. Okay, right. Just be shoot. Wait. No salt. No salt is bueno. No, no bueno. I mean, nah, I don't, what is it? I think it's potassium chloride. No. You want citrate. There it is. What's the brand's name? Name of the brand? Name of the brand? Yeah. Rapidly absorbed topical spray. Ultra How about with less of an accent? Purest Vantage. Purest Vantage 2000. Thank you. <laughs> He's a purest Vantage without an accent. <laughs> Screenshot. Okay. Um, can we go back? Right, just to sure that you get a quality salt. Okay. Can we go back to some of the earlier comments? I just want to see if I missed anything good. Uh, let me go up to the top. Okay. Put it. Okay. Hey, Steph. I'm ready to learn. Going to get a glucometer this week. Please do. You can get them on Amazon. I think in Europe. There's a. I think there's a new brand they have in Europe that's beyond a freestyle. Uh, hey, hello, Stephanie. I finally started getting your notifications again. I'm so glad to to be listening to you again because I just started keto for the second time. And that's why we're doing this because the range, it's like your body starting over again when it comes to the glucose stability. Hi, uh, Stephanie. Advanced notice. Good. Hi, guys. Stephanie is being interviewed. So live stream will start. Uh, that was what I wrote. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, my bad. Hello, Greek guy. How's the keto life treating you? Do you do more sticky, sticky ribs? ribs? You want to go on a uh, screen and explain? No that? more sticky ribs. I haven't eaten sticky ribs like for like a month now. Yeah. Yay! Good for him, right, guys? He's trying. He's well, good. the guy on the store doesn't love me anymore. Oh. <laughs> So okay. let's go forward. Yeah. Hello from Michigan. Hi, King. Okay, it's a lot of highs. Okay, let's get down. Hi, hi, Stephanie, hi. Stephanie, my keto queen. You are so beautiful. Aw, thank you, keto, keto burner. burner. Thank you. Like, hello, my Greek guy. Hello. Uh, you close very tightly your eyes, lol. Okay, go camera guy. Hi, Steph. Hi, Debra. So brain, that's it. Uh, Del Bridge was the guy you for donated. my... For vitamin D without fish. No, I said but, butter, butter. There's vitamin D in, in the fatty bits of an animal, but you're going to get a lot in butter. You're going to get the, uh, it in eggs. You're going to get it in uh, brain. So there's three. Mm, okay. Hi, Ketongba. Hi, Tege. Hi, so hi. Today um, I got uh, this woman. I just loved her channel. I got to go and look at it again and remember the name of it. She joined my keto course and she wrote her name. This is her uh her her instagram name listen to this you guys it's plant survivor <laughs> it really should be so survivor of plants but she just started the keto course so she wrote that there you can't see it but i was really stoked that she was like i love the course it's the bath hey super steph nice to see you in action talking your wisdom uh, greetings from adverb antwerp Stefan. antwerp antwerp can't say twerp. And twerp. It's like okay. Swedish. Hey, yeah, I read that. Okay. Yeah. Let's go down and see if we get some new stuff going on. Because yeah, I read all to this. Diabetic. Stuff. Yeah, People you on the replay it. are about freaking like, yeah. pulling their eyeballs we out caught and throw it against the wall. We caught to all these. We're good. There's our idea to be fat burning. Uh, type 2 diet. Only way I could get. Okay, I already read that. Let's keep Ooh. going. I'm a man. Zakara Feliciano sent money again. Protein sparing modified fat stuff, yes. Protein spar sparing modified Fuck. type two, it's tough. It's not tough. In fact, you can reverse your diabetic symptoms. Type two is easy. There's a guy on my, you guys, there's a guy in my course, right? He's like loyal. His wife first did a consultation with me and then she joined the page and then she was like, can you do a consultation with my husband? And he was like, whatever with the stupid chick that my wife's into like this chick is stupid with her half tops jumping around 
he is more of an advocate of Stephanie now than she was. He was like kind of like snarky and rude in the consultation. He's a type two diabetic. He started almost at 400 pounds. Now he's under 200 and his diabetic symptoms gone. What, what, what? Because he stuck with my program, right? He stuck with it. And then he joined the course page. So I was able to talk to him all the time. And um, he's always showing pictures of his before and after transition from being type two to, uh, to non-symptomatic type two diabetic. It's really one of the most beautiful stories I've been able to witness. So from somebody who thought I was stupid to a person who's like, Steph is like, he's like, I got your back. He's always saying that now. So uh, Diane says- I can says, read it. It's not always liquid, but low fat eating, low fat, low carb. So basically what Diane is uh, saying is that uh, this uh, uh, liquid uh, protein is eating only protein without fat or very low fat and very low carbs. So basically you're going into gluconeogenesis, just eating protein, which means mm. your body uses protein as glucose and that's uh, what it wants. Yeah. Actually, let's break it down. There are, uh, in our food, there are two sources of uh, power, energy, that's fats and carbs, and the bricks, that's protein. So to build. Well, you so, can use protein as glucose too. Yeah. When the, the body doesn't get either uh, fats, either carbs, it says, okay, I need to produce energy. What do we have here? Ah, protein. Hey. Yes. <laughs> but you're also, your body, people who are doing strict carnivore, their bodies can also, a lot of them aren't actually ketotic. People who are doing strict carnivore that don't make it keto and they use too much protein to produce a little glucose, but it's so little, people still damage their thyroid, damage their adrenals, damage their sex, hor sex hormones because they're not getting enough stored glycogen and there's not enough blood sugar. So it's not, that's not good either with the strict carnivore eating leaner meats. That's why it has to be keto carnivore. Mm. Uh, Tiger 81.2 needs to have a consultation, but he's tied on money, apparently. Yeah. Well, the course page is also an alternative. That you can get a lot of information. Let's see, how do I different do, wait, how different do you feel? I already read that. Mm. When in is the best time to, to test after a meal? It's two hours after a meal. I am insulin resistant. Will I, will I store uh, dietary fat? There is no so much information out there. I respect your knowledge and opinion. So Arlene Perry, it's a good idea to either join the course page or do a consultation because I could figure out exactly if you're going to start storing fat or losing fat. If I knew what your A1C was, your insulin, uh, your blood sugar numbers, what you eat, where you came from, how long you've had uh, insulin resistance going on. It's easier, like if you lift, if you have adrenal insufficiencies, if you're tired, if you don't sleep well, because all, remember, it's, it's blood sugar diet and all that, and it's also your lifestyle. So if I know your lifestyle, I can tell you if you're going to store or burn, because if you're stressed, if you're a night shift worker, if you're a uh, high estrogen, you could potentially store, but... If you have those things in check because you've tried keto before or you're ready to be really more uh, disciplined, then your blood sugar will drop. It just need, I just need to know what you were eating before. Like, were you eating butter? I mean, not butter, uh, cheese and nuts as your, uh, as your, bleh, I can't talk, as your fats. Just knowing how bad you're doing keto to, to you know, how much we need to make those alterations, then it is... It could poten potentially go the better route in dropping insulin and then eventually dropping weight if I knew more. Mm, and that's it. Uh, tiger it. Uh, uh, tiger Sorry. 812 Sorry says... House. Stress, yeah. <laughs> Stress. Um, I will get more towards the... Because I haven't had enough people check insulin uh, while being ketotic. So I'll get back to you that on that. Was it Tigre yeah. eight one two? Do you guys have any more questions before we go? Because the Greek guys gotta go, and uh, it's just about mm. that time that we stop, right? Yeah, like uh, I need to start getting uh, ready. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I still have the magnesium oil. That's the magnesium spray oil. Yeah. So you guys, I hope you understand, and I'll make this as my last words: You don't get fat on fat; you become fat on high blood sugar. 
Your blood sugar can spike on keto or keto carnivore or low carb, high fat, or even the standard American diet. If you're insulin resistant, if you have stress, if you don't sleep well, if you don't eat well, if you've got gut stress and you have low stomach acid and you're pounding food and running out the door, this can spike your blood sugar. If you have an inflammatory response off of a food that you're eating, uh, you can have spike your blood sugar. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me get these last questions in. Mm -hmm. Did you eat all of that pork the other day? Uh, yeah, it's like been five days. It's gone now. <laughs> How do you stop hair loss? Uh, Sherry, it's either uh, from hair loss is a couple of reasons, mainly your thyroid, or it can be from low iron, or it can be from plaque psoriasis, or not autoimmunity because of, of having the wrong foods and stress. So I would need to know more. Okay, is it okay to train fasted while doing keto? No, that will spike your blood sugar. That will create that physiological insulin resistance rebound. Doing fasted cardio, where's the body gonna get the energy from? You're not ketotic, you're not in ketosis yet. You don't have enough glucose storage in your muscle, so the body will start having to burn muscle to spike the glucose, and that's what it does. And that's what carnivore people do who don't do a keto carnivore version. They use protein to raise their blood sugar. So you can't, doing fasted cardio is just gonna wreck your thyroid and adrenals. And I've seen it a million times, so don't do that. Actually, I believe, listen to the uh, Stephanie uh, people, not to the Stephanie, but to Stephanie. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Guy. Uh, keto is wrongly labeled as the keto diet. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. So we should start, start saying it as it is like keto lifestyle exactly okay let me get these last questions thank you though mm -hmm. um person says they can tolerate the top can tolerate butter Wait, let me see. no dairy i can't tolerate butter or ghee this is proving my point that some people react to the small amounts of, of protein still left in butter and ghee just because you clarify butter does not get rid of all the protein people react to them okay coconut oil is not ketogenic so please don't eat mostly coconut oil and sunflower oil is a seed butter i mean a, a this is these are baby plants, demineralize you. Do not use sunflower seeds for keto or any diet, period. So find lard or tallow or maybe even some duck fat, but don't use coconut oil. Co 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 coconut, oil coconut oil is fine for lauric acid benefits for the brain and for the body. It's not ketotic and sunflower seed butter is the worst, one of the worst. Get rid of it, not to be rude. Arlene Perry, um, especially if you're type two or you type, you're insulin resistant, get rid of that. It'll spike your blood sugar. Wait, I'm not done with the last thing she said. Uh, I switched to carnivore, but too much protein. Okay, take, take down the protein, up your fat and don't eat the seeds. Okay, that was great. Thanks, thank you for hosting these and sharing all your knowledge. Uh, thank you, Arlene, thank you. Would gallstones affect your ability to, to eat fat? Yes, so you wanna use magnesium citrate. You wanna use lemons if you don't have a histamine, a histamine reaction to it. You might wanna do some gallbladder flushes that don't use freaking like sweet fruits uh, to get rid of the stones and use ox bile salts and BT and HCL for stomach acid. Our question was if you ate all that pork in one sitting. Oh, hell no. <laughs> ate like that much. What you're talking about? It took me like four days to finish all that pork. No, I eat like three ounces, two or three ounces. No, 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 no. I can't eat all of that once. That's nasty. I cannot eat too much protein. It makes me, uh, no. Thanks, Stephanie. See you tomorrow. Okay, Diane, I'll see you tomorrow. When's your consultation? I think Diana's going. Tomorrow is it, morning. Got, huh? Tomorrow morning. Apparently. Oh, morning. Oh, we're doing the 30 minute. Cool. Looking forward to it. Yes. What's a good insulin level? Okay, already read that. Yes, Greek guy. Yes, honey. Lifestyle, not diet. It really is, Chantal, because like people don't understand. They'll ask me these blunt questions and I'm like, but I don't know what you ate. How have you, long have you done keto? How long have you been insulin resistant? Do you stay up late? Do you have a TV in your bedroom? Do you poop every day? Do you have histamine intolerance? Do you have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth? Do you have thyroid problems? What's your sex hormones like? Do you sleep at night? Do you exercise? Do you get achy when you exercise? Are you sore? Do you get colds and flus all the time? Like, are you postmenopause? Are you hot flashing? Men, is your testosterone too low? Do you crash in the afternoon? Like, you guys, that's why consultation is so freaking important, right? At least do a 30 minute one if, or not go and go to my keto course because that's only $15 and you still, I do many consultation, five to 10 minute consultations on Sundays. That's four of them you can do. They almost would equate a full consultation. So get on it. 
Uh, thank you. Uh, great like always. Oh yeah, don't forget to like up the stream. And thank you guys. Thank you, Steph. Or thank you, Steph. Thank you. Hi, good cat. Thank you, good cat. Um, thank you, Marcus. Marcus. Uh, was ist los? No? Das ist geil, ne? The stream is geil. Love you, Marcus and Margaret. Thank you. Uh, what is a keto Greek dish is good to cook on iron skillets? Thanks. Boop. The Greek dish? Do you have that? Hmm? What is a lamb, Greek? Lamb, right? You guys eat lamb, right? Uh, yeah. There you go. Lamb, lamb with uh, around... Uh, uh, seventy percent of a butter, uh, <laughs> uh, like a lot of fat. Yeah, yeah that's it. Greek that's spices. It. What is a Greek spice? Name one, real quick. Uh, thyme, leaves. Okay, he means thyme, but we'll call it thyme. Uh, <laughs> mini consultations are the bomb, right, Chantal? Mini consultations are uh, the bomb too. She is so chill and informative. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I would like uh, for all of you to collapse the super chat and like up the stream. Because I see only 60 viewers and 38 what? likes. How can we Like, you? shame on you people! Right? You guys, <laughs> like kidding. people, my humble channel, and people have a hard time finding me. They have a hard time getting their notifications. So don't forget to hit the notification bell and don't forget to subscribe and then also like because that brings the YouTube algorithm together. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Tammy and everyone. And thank you so much, Deborah, for moderating thank you the greek guy for always having my back even though i get on his nerves sometimes well actually my, at your front so. i know <laughs> thank you for having my i have your that's front that's kind of nasty I don't know. um <laughs> thank you for being my friend <laughs> you're very welcome <laughs> and to Likewise. subscribe to my keto course page go to stephanieperson.com or for consultation and we've got all my social media above me and i hate those fonts see you know what fonts i like right there those are the nice fonts get those fonts those okay. fonts are like 80s right guys they look like early 90s fonts, but he is like 48, so. You're 48 now, right? Mm, 47. Oh, 47. Yeah. I'm running my 48th year in this world. He's 47. Mm -hmm. Just a young kid. All right, guys. 52 going on. 53. 12 years strict keto, but more not strict, just more saving the body. Loving this lifestyle. Do not let anybody tell you that this is dangerous over time with the right formulated application of keto. Um, I can't even go like, I'm so grateful that I am not turning into a shedding snake skin in my fifties because I'm middle-aged now. Okay. Energy, 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 energy. This is a business. Mm. 52. And we're out. And we're out. Peace.